In this lecture, we will cover project work products. Let's first understand what is work product. Output of any task is the work product of that task. For example, if you are in the requirement stage and working on the requirement, once your work is done, the requirement is your work product. Similarly, if you are implementing the code, once the implementation is done, the code is your work product. Just remember the output of the task is called a work product. Now let's proceed with the lecture. We will see work product categories of Agile project. The project work product of the Agile model, which is of interest to tester, are business-oriented work product, development work product, test work product. Let's cover each of them one by one. First is a business-oriented work product, and it describing what it needed and how to use it. For example, requirement specification describes what is needed and user documentation describes how to use it. Typical business-oriented work products on Agile projects include user stories and acceptance criteria. In traditional project, we use the term requirement and in Agile requirement is referred as user story and it is provided by the business stakeholder, therefore user story is a business-oriented work product. We can say user stories are the Agile firm of requirements specifications, and it explains how the system should behave with respect to a single, coherent feature or function. A user story should define a feature small enough to be completed in a single iteration, so we have to make sure a user story is in such a way that it shall be completed in one iteration itself. What you need to remember is requirement specification user documentation, user stories, and acceptance criteria are the work product of a business task. Next is a development work product, and it describes how the system is built, how the system is implemented, and how each piece of code is evaluated. For example, how the system is built is represented by a database entity relationship diagram and how actually system is implemented is known by the code. How each piece of code is evaluated is shown by the automated unit test result. We will cover more about it in the next lecture. What you need to remember here is database entity relationship diagram code and unit test result are the work product and development task. Now the important one is the test work product and it describes how the system is tested, which approach is used for testing, and provides a summary report. And how the system is tested is documented in test strategies and planning documents. The approach could be manual testing or automated testing or both. And a summary report is provided in the form of a dashboard. The work product of the testing task is test strategies, test plans, quality risk catalogs, manual tests, test scripts, defect reports, and test results logs. The important point with respect to test work products is that the documents are captured in as lightweight a fashion as possible which is often also true of these documents in traditional life cycles. Testers will also produce test metrics from defect reports and test results logs. And again, there is an emphasis on a lightweight approach. Regarding documentation, the most important point is In a typical Agile project, it is common practice to avoid producing vast amounts of documentation. That means in an Agile project, we produce a document which is actually needed. The main focus on an Agile project is to have working software, together with automated tests that demonstrate conformance to requirements. This encouragement to reduce documentation applies only to the documentation that does not deliver value to the customer. 
In a successful agile project, a balance is struck between increasing efficiency by reducing documentation and providing sufficient documentation to support business testing, development, and maintenance activities. The team must decide on release planning about which work products are required and what level of work product documentation is needed. Let's summarize all the points we covered until now before covering remaining points. In this lecture, we covered three work products which are relevant to the tester. Business-oriented work product, development work product, and test work product, where requirement specification, user documentation, user stories, and acceptance criteria are the work product of the business task. Database entity relationship diagram, code and unit test results are the work product of development task. And test strategies, test plans, quality risk catalogs, manual tests, test scripts, defect reports, and test results logs are the work product of the testing task. With this, the lecture ends.